All right, everyone, Supreme called me over here. So before the week's end, it's over here for this week's welfare stuff. So let's let me do actually go over what we have over here. So we have ourselves the men of the hour. We got Loku Jump. That's how you uh, kind of pronounce his name. So we have his uh, Reggie Lace over here. So this is going to be, I'm going to say it. This is probably going to be a lot of uh, people's uh, uh, most disliked character in Mobile So I'm pretty sure most of people have probably made like a submission uh, specifically trying to destroy this unit because of what looked it in the anime so uh, so we're going to be taking a look at this overall unit so there are definitely some you know um, some pretty good features from this unit you know starting off with the head EXQ um, so the head EXQ is going to be a charge up shot alpha so this is going to reduce your shot um, skill cooldown inst instantly by 53% so we have a similar one I believe is going to be the big scale um, X divider. So let me do actually filter this up by this over here. So we have the big scale um, Gundam X divider, and it's literally the same thing, but this one obviously have a little bit more, um, you know, <clears throat> percentage wise over here. So this one just go up to a 68%. So this one is more or less similar to like a reduced screw down at once per uh, per a set of amount percentage over here. So this is actually pretty good because you can also, um, in terms of the rigid lace over here, you can pair that up with its own trait that we actually do come with over here so in terms of the other weapons read that we need to upgrade for this week is actually going to be a regular uh, rifle over here i don't know why it's listed under rifle but it has a uh, machine gun lo uh, logo right there so this one is going to be really good as well so they are more or less like uh, tangible together over here so this one is uh, when armor is 80 percent or less reduce cooldown by 40 percent once so if you activate so let's say you fall below 80% health and then you proc to this part of the portrait so you instantly uh, recharge your EX skill. Let's say, let's say you're using a, a cousin EX skill. So generally those has like a, a 120 seconds. You proc to that, that probably gets down to like what is a 20% or what's 40% out of um, uh, what you can call it, like 120. So you're probably looking at like um, down to like 90 seconds or even less than that. And then you proc to in this one over here. This EX skill over here, so you're in, uh, you're like roughly almost at 100% cooldown already. So this makes this powerful or EX skill really powerful. So you can definitely not use this one and use the X divider for a little bit more, um, you know, percentage wise. Or you cannot use this one. So keep that in mind when you do have this type of setup, you can kind of like cheese it in with having one over here. So that's why this is. I I, I wouldn't say this is like really good in a way, but it, in terms of like your supporting ally, this can be a fairly decently EX skill to be using for that sole purpose over here so that's why these two pairing is actually pretty good so if you guys are planning to use something like that um you guys can definitely start things up by using these two first in a way um but this one does have to proctor a hp restriction so that may not be that good um so let me do take a look at this head stat real quick and just want to see what we're looking at this is actually not even that bad for this guy over here so 7k as well as almost like nearly like a 4k shot defense that's actually pretty good um, does have commander as well, so that's a pretty much a bonus as well. Uh, whenever this one does get an alteration, maybe like in a year or so, for say, um, this is definitely going to be better than some of the early Soka unit. Just uh, putting that out there, so yeah, that's really pretty good right there. All right, moving on to the torso. Whoops, didn't mean to click on that one. Torso wise over here, um, it's not bad at all. You know, the defense is definitely way way up there, like 4k. That's actually really good. Um, shot attack 2500 not bad uh, this one is not too bad as well uh, maybe you are able to clear up any events within like a 30 second right there <clears throat> that will be a fairly beneficial to you right there just for something to start things out if you don't have any other good option for say does have commander so um, you can definitely uh, not this one does not so I was gonna say if this one does have commander you can definitely leverage upon that but this one does not unfortunately all right, moving on to the arm wise over here. The arm does have a commander type right there. Um, this one, the arm wise does have a little bit less defensive than the other two parts we have looked at so far. Shot attack, not too shabby. Portrait, nope, I'm not looking at that. Even the leg portrait having a penetration, EXU penetration is uh, reduced by 22%. Not that good. Um, style wise in this is uh, fairly acceptable. Um, nearly 4k um, shot defense and then 2500 for that shot attack, not too bad. Uh, Desert Long Range probably not your best combo right there for Warthog wise. Alright, moving on to the backpack over here. So, backpack wise, not good. We, a what? 
a 28% chance of not recalling? No, we're not doing that. Um, this one's good. So does have 4K shot defense as well as a 2500 um, shot attack. Does have commander as well, so nice. Alright, moving on to this one over here. So like I said again, this one is really powerful. This is because it had one of these uh, pseudo reduce with there. If we can't afford to, let's say, build, um, like, if we don't have a lot of force or pit tickets to work on a 100% 100% cooldown, uh, this is definitely going to be the next step down in terms of, like, kind of reducing about that. Um, in terms of these one over here, once you're, you, when you use it up, you can't really reactivate that, so this is more or less like a one-time thing, so, yeah, so this really depends on what kind of content you're looking at, so, you are taking some maybe some longer fight for say these may not be the best case scenario in by any means so yeah but in terms of the long range um, railgun over here we have a sniping this one does actually come with a b power so not too shabby uh as we do take a look at the overall stat for both the range of weapon reels up here it's not too bad i gotta say this provide a teeny tiny bit of you know shot defense um it's not gonna be too helpful but uh definitely something not to neglect in a way Alright, so last but not least, we have the shield, the gauntlet. I don't even know. That shield does not look like a gauntlet to me. I don't know why. Shot defense, like 5 5 5 5. Okay. Um, trade, not good, obviously. And then other than that, that's gonna be pretty much it. So, in terms of pilot, we don't really have a pilot for this week, but um, I actually just, just got the three star version of it. So, that's what we're gonna be looking at. So, now let me actually claim the big ones that we were. So, this week around is gonna be a little bit expensive, eight parters. So, if you guys don't have the necessary resources, trying to see if you guys can at least push out once. Um, just trying to do one, for example. Um, that is definitely something you guys need for you know um, resources. Then, that should be pretty good in a way. So, gonna get everything and then I'll go right, right ahead and do the premium capsule ticket summoning. So, Alright, so another week, so we have completed the bingo set over here, and then gonna get my ticket real quick. Alright, so that is gonna be pretty much it, so we are getting how many? 50, okay, well, what? How come it's only 50 this week? No, oh, it's 100, like, I, I overlooked that again, so gonna be 100 for the W Awakening Circus, so that is obviously gonna be good. Um, other than that, all the other one pretty much stays the same, so that's it. Alright, so now I can do my premium summoning over here. So keep that in mind, the banner did actually update it, so we have a higher chance, not really a higher chance, but in terms of the pulls that we're summoning for, we do have a pretty good chance of getting some 7 star part if uh, lucky enough, you know, in any way. So they actually went all the way ahead and put it all the way to your Raven final battle type already. So that was definitely a big shocker. I wasn't expecting them to put in that much. So um, even though they put in all those uh, newly seven star part, but that does not really um, alleviate any of those pain we have been suffering for. Like we definitely need some standard unit or some other older stuff that will, will eventually be able to go up to a seven star already. Like at this point there, they could literally just wait until new or um, the third year anniversary or much later, which is not good, obviously. Like, I don't know what's the problem with not releasing that. Like, we have, like, probably now it's been 10 weeks already since the uh, the first launch of Semis of Parts, and we still haven't gotten anything out, so that's uh, just not good at all. So, we're getting a lot of purple parts, or first of all, another one right there. Okay. Can we get some gold parts now? What is it? Banshee leg? If it's the Banshee now, I can't use it. Wow. Literally call it. Can't use it. I have it maxed already, unfortunately. So this is going to be a uh, EX gear reduced part. So this allow would allow you to go up to 100% if, uh, if you have some other corresponding part, obviously. So I have this one maxed, so I can't use it. So yeah, the story of my life. So um, I'm going to be doing some EX gear testing, obviously, and then I'll actually make a custom creative mission. Probably you guys would be definitely satisfied to watch it. So stay tuned for that. So first thing first, let me do actually test of the EX skill and then I will be right back from there. All right, so I'm just gonna be testing it out in the creative mission over here. So basically I just have it on right here. So not really gonna apply it to any of my other builds. So this is gonna be like the straight build that we are gonna be looking at over here. And then in terms of the mission criteria, I said for this one over here, I gave it a 200% recharge in terms of the EX skill. Uh, we can definitely see how fast it can be after we use the charge up as well. So let me do hopping out and see 
um, how the I just want to basically see how the stepping EX skill looks like. Um, in terms of the charge up, it's pretty much going to be exactly the same animation wise um, as the double X or no, the X better I will have to assume. So let me hop in out and see. All right, we are here. So in terms of the damage output, I basically have set everything to zero because I purely just want to see uh, what kind of range we can be looking at. So this is going to be on a melee. So we would have to be a little bit far back in a way. So that's it. That's sniping. I don't believe that. <laughs> that looks pretty bad actually, not gonna lie. Um, so let me activate this right there, so instantly charge up obviously. Uh, like, we were pretty close to it though. Um, so that was roughly about 3 shots, I guess if I could kind of spot it. Let me see, it's not even that good. It does kind of slightly stagger your opponent in a way, a little bit, yeah. Slightly, so that's kind of good in a way. Activate this right there, so it kind of charge up. Well, almost fully so roughly about two to three rounds depending on like how your enemy is kind of like positioned whether or not they're dashing or whatever whatever action they're doing in a way so we're gonna do this right there two shots i still can't see it actually <laughs> not even gonna lie i can't see it so we got one two only two shots okay so two shots are uh, yeah, that's not going to be too impressive overall, so okay, so that is going to be pretty much it in terms of the showcase of the uh, Reggie Lace over here. So let me do create a custom mission that is uh, dedicated to, um, you know, the final episode of the Iron Blood Orphans over here, and then we will be back. Alright, so we are at my mission creation over here. So you guys already know what's going on with the overall maps and then with the overall enemy over here. So I brought myself obviously the Gushin Rebay Full City over here as well as the Barbado Lupus Rex over here trying to recreate the last scene of the season two I am Little Orphans over here. Unfortunately I couldn't remove let's say a um, skin or let's say a build, so that's why I have to bring up myself along a skeleton as a support amiable. We're gonna start using some EX skill over here as well, and ooh, that looks pretty clean with those four arm shots right there. Uh, I ha actually have not used it at all, believe it or not, so. We are winding down to the final phase, and you guys already know what is gonna go down right, literally right now, so. No, 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 don't steal my, don't steal him, don't steal him. I hope I targeted the right enemy, yes, I did! And there you go. Alright, what? How did I not? Alright, you're getting the other Jabam as well. How did I not finish him off? Like, what? Did I not have enough boosting whatsoever? Alright, so that being said, that is uh, going to be pretty much it with uh, just testing out uh, Lok's uh, welfare unit for this week. In terms of overall EX skill, I feel like the charge up shot alpha can be a pretty good EX skill in terms of you want uh, like a semi charge, like a um, half charge for, for you guys over here. Uh, definitely something that can be. I don't know if it's going to be like a melee relevant for example in terms of using on your build specifically I don't think that's probably not going to be the best bet maybe for your LS going to be good but overall not a solid option uh, for, for using for your LS uh, for your LS suit definitely so that being said that is going to be pretty much it and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.